What's happening guys? Welcome back to another reaction. In today's video, we are checking out Monster X's brand new album, which is Reason. I'm very excited about this one. I didn't know if I would be checking it out, but I really, really love Beautiful Liar. The structure was very different from anything that I would have expected. We are going with color-coded lyric videos because on many of the songs, I wanted to check it out on Spotify, but the lyrics on Genius.com are not available for more than half of the album. So for that reason, we'll be going with uh, the color-coded lyric videos. So I, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be able to talk too much about the lyrics because pausing in between going through the lyrics through a video, it, it's always a little bit annoying, which is why I try to avoid color-coded lyric videos and just go for the lyrics in general. But uh we'll see what happens and at the end of the day i i really want to just enjoy this album and it's my first time reacting to a monster x album and there's not many album reactions on, on the channel it's something that is still fairly new to me so if you're new to an album reaction on the channel i don't go nearly as deep into each of the songs as i usually do in my videos just to it's deep, basically a compromise that i'm i'm making in order to check out more than a couple of songs, kind of like the spotlight reactions where we check out four to five songs, uh, but don't necessarily focus 20 minutes on each song, but rather a couple of minutes just to get the, the basic message and uh, talk a little bit about the lyrics. So without further ado, we're starting off with Daydream. The Beautiful Liar reaction is already available. If you want to check it out, check out the playlist for Monster X somewhere up there. And let's get into it. Also, oh, it almost feels like Beautiful Liar, the way it ended, it ends on like a daydream in a way. Damn. Ooh. Keeps on building. Oh. I love his voice. Oh, damn, this is... It's kind of like they are the beautiful liar, in a way. Because the person left, but I want to keep on living in this dream world where we're together. I'm feeding myself this beautiful lie where I was hurt by this person and it was toxic, but I don't want to wake up because living in a toxic world with this person was better than living life by myself and then it's kind of funny because in that reaction i said at which 
at which point do you realize that you're the toxic one if you choose to be in a toxic relationship and you choose to stay in that relationship despite knowing that it's toxic? It seems like the person, like I, I was like, is he going to wake up and realize that he needs to leave? But it looks like the person actually left them. If we, and that's only if we kind of like tried to make a connection throughout this entire album to Beautiful Liar, to the music video. I feel like Beautiful Liar really touched on a toxic relationship, whether it's a relationship with a loved one or a relationship with, with fans who kind of like, there, there was a similar aspect with New Jeans, for example, as far as them kind of like expressing the fact that some people believe that they are part of the group as far as like the the extra member in Ditto, for example, and uh, like expressing how much does a group mean to a fan, to a stan, to the point where it gets a little bit toxic and you create a parasocial relationship that you build up all inside your own head. That relationship doesn't actually exist just because, you know, you went to a fan sighting and maybe your eyes crossed with your favorite idol or maybe they acknowledged you when they signed something and they were nice to you and they truly meant it. But in your head, you you took that to such a degree where you're imagining like a relationship with them or something. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I feel like for the most part, Beautiful Liar to me is still a, a toxic relationship or romantic relationship but there's definitely a couple of things that you could have taken from that music video as far as parasocial relationships that fans have with idols um because you're supporting them you're you're paying for the merch you're paying for the albums you're paying for the tickets and you're you're paying basically for an interaction when you see them live and whatnot um uh, and you feel entitled in a way to more. This song definitely kind of uh, puts it all into uh, a different perspective. A toxic relationship with two toxic people and not just one toxic person. Let's move on to the next song. Curtain's fault. Realization. Yeah, right, the flow of the sea. Drowning. Nice. Whoa. Red light. I can do this all day. May day nice. Damn. It's been a long time. Out to the MD, only one sign. Nice. What just care about mine? What did it chum sa we get shine? Or the middle chat there, pity of the feet back, they did a key there for the name man to go we dance la da no the net and the tandem of blue. The body get the middle of that old get that chon chon he got on a swim go to get out the mood to get to get a gun and all do calm and go to Whoa, we just entered. We're getting traditional in this. Mother F or whole? Whoa, that that was let's take this back. Let's take it all the way back because I am's verse is fucking awesome. It's been a long time. Out to the MD, only one sign. I don't get a what, just care about mine. Or did it chums how we get shine? Or they made a chat there, beat up the feedback, nigga did a key there for the name man juggle we had. I think it's a da, no the net and emerge time to my bro. The production on this album I feel your 
Oh, you can unfold me right now. Pause. Sorry. Let's... That... That... That was sexy as fuck. Holy... Now you're my black bag. Let's get sexy. Come on, I'm bombing ecstasy. I feel your hands get sexy. Keep it like one, two, three. This is my favorite song so far. Ooh. Holy shit, the different productions. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was amazing. That's my favorite song. And no knock on Beautiful Liar, but this is by far my favorite song. Like, holy shit. Plus the different production elements, like almost like this traditional ancient-ish sound suddenly introduced and then you have like this modern sound that's kind of reminds me who reminds me a little bit of like edm plus the guitar plus holy shit like the everything about the song is just so experimental and it's like on paper this song is not supposed to work but yet it's the best song so far and it's one of my favorites that i've checked out holy shit it feels like this song in in context with uh, beautiful liar and uh and daydream is almost like a relapse of sorts because like the 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 high of uh of the relationship is worth all, all the pain like you, literally the lyrics in the beginning say uh even if the curtains fall uh and remain filled with emptiness so so painful it was brilliantly beautiful we're standing facing each other so it's almost like i i know this is going to end badly but the crescendo of this relationship like the, it's it's all worth it basically uh it, it it doesn't it doesn't matter what what happens because when i see you i i hope to be literally the lyrics say i hope to be thrown into the red light like the let's get sexy and like the dance which is like the act i guess uh, is like the equivalent of of the ecstasy uh as is mentioned in in the lyrics and i'm not sure how accurate some of the lyrics are obviously so you you guys can correct me uh on some of the things uh but unfortunately that's kind of like my only option here but it's like this love is like a truck, basically, and uh, you, you can't escape it. Then you relapse because of when you see that person, you see, uh, you know, the red light turns on. Some something else gets turned on, and it, it is what it is, uh, you know. But Juani and and I am's verses specifically were absolutely. Uh, incredible this song was absolutely uh beautiful and it is my favorite song so far and uh i'm really excited about whatever is uh is next so let's uh let's get back into it Let me take you home, you don't waste my time, yeah. Oh, you got a kid up and not not eat down, man. Pokey for that chicken and not egg and chip chum. Take him up with that, Junior. Jump your body to me, I'm a legend, baby. Get hugging the good team, I'm a lay back. Gotta let you know I'm running to you right now. Down for your love, yeah, I'm just taking out loud. I'm so good, chugging dead. I'm just so good, got chin on. Waiting for the one. Ooh. 
the singing in this chorus is beautiful. Oh my god. Waiting for the This is growing. Damn. Damn. Okay, first of all, the ending of the song with with the uh, Kihyun uh, was absolutely incredible. Uh, the production on this song and some of the sound effects and obviously the name of the song, Lone Ranger, definitely makes it feel a little bit Western-ish. Uh, and... This was an incredibly fun song that almost like creates like a perfect scenario for that Lone Ranger to save someone in in, in distress. Uh, basically, it creates a, a, a very cinematic scenario, almost like picturing a movie. And uh, also some of the lyrics kind of like as, as much as they want to almost like save that special someone, they also want that special someone to save them in return. Because some of the lyrics saying like this burning for you and craving towards you don't stop don't let me go now uh as they as the lyrics literally say uh darling let me take you home and just the ending of the song in general really uh was quite the, quite the show off kihyeon that, that was absolutely uh incredible and uh the production on this album so far like it's like the whole album so far feels incredibly experimental like there's so many different nuances so many different elements thrown at you different styles like all of these songs so far so sound so fucking different one from another and uh, i also feel like with this song the vocals really shined uh, i feel like the vocals and them singing at a, at a much higher note throughout the entire song was really really beautiful and they really kind of like got to show off and f flex basically uh their vocals and uh the whole uh chorus like the the repetition of lone ranger was really really uh it, it kind of gets stuck in your head like like this song is, is quite quite addicting it feels kind of it feels quite light and just just fun uh which is really really cool uh let's move on to the next song I'm lying to myself. Cause I'm not 
땡 즐거움도 잠시 난 매일이 많지 어지러워 또 쓰리 스위스키를 삼키지 잠이 오질 않아 천장에 너가 보여 꿈인지 생신지 너의 미소가 또렷이 보여라 지우고 싶어 죽이는 기분이 싫어 이런 감정을 남기고 간 자리 with Gito 흐린 태도 망정 난 지금도 망쳐 떠올리면 선명한 넌날 너무도 망쳐 The vocals are Monster X is just monstrous. That was actually really, really beautiful. Can't take my eyes off of you or should I just close my eyes and give up on you? But you're daydreaming and you're, you see that person anyway, but damn that. Like the self-reflection on, on the album is actually really, really uh, cool. And the realization that maybe I need to do something about this is really, really cool. Let's take it back. I am. Again. Wonderful. Baby, can't take my eyes off you, baby. It's almost like he's narrating or like Kihyun's vocals are absolutely incredible. Fucking hell. That's how the song ends? Oh, oh damn. Damn. Very interesting way to end the song. Much like kind of like Beautiful Liar was also an interesting way to, to end it. It, it almost feels like much like this relationship is unfinished my feelings are as well because even though again i know that one-sided relationships are are bad then one person will always get get hurt but it's just that's something about that person vocally this was absolutely uh a showcase again and th this song like the chill nature of of like the instrumental and some of the some of the delivery it's almost like i'm so used to living in denial like just because you understand that you're in denial doesn't make it stop you don't stop living in denial just because you acknowledge that you're living in denial like i i, I just can't do anything about getting that person out of my head kind of makes me wonder about uh them kind of like how have they been through it? Uh, are they just, you know, is it just like 
being great storytellers within the writing of the song or is there like something very very uh realistic about these lyrics as far as real life experiences and and and, and whatnot which, which is quite possible it it it's absolutely incredible like you, you have all of the realization of being like in this one-sided relationship where you feel all of this emptiness and you don't want to endure it anymore but at the same time you can you can't deny, you can't stop living in denial and you can't deny that person uh, from your life, which is uh, quite, quite tragic uh, cycle. It's almost like they're stuck in a limbo, basically. Uh, this was, uh, this was quite something. And just the overall mood of the song creates a really trippy scenario of like being used to be, to being in this limbo, basically, and living in denial. Uh, let's move on to the the next and final song when i go back then can i see you forever Ooh. Damn. I'm gonna make it back to you. Oh, 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 no. Why get a him in bed? Oh, we'll be the greatest when we're together. It doesn't matter, we make it better. It's all right, I'm gonna make it back to you. Gonna make it back to you. Can't shut up, but I'll see another. Think you want to let her talk. No, so can I chime in? Okay, in contrast with everything that we just heard, especially the last song being called Deny, this feels... very much like... they live at a bit of a denial. It's almost like the bridge is like the realization that you were the reason why we broke up. You made me feel this way, but you made me... I forgot what I already regretted and I'm still, it's all right. It, it's almost, uh, it's almost like they're basically like reminiscing to the happiest stage of the relationship, like the honeymoon, so to speak, of the relationship if, before things kind of went south. And then once things started to go south, they it feels like they never 
it feels like you broke up and you never got to say your piece because you were afraid of hurting the person. See, so you always kind of like took it on the chin, despite not being the one to blame. Whereas in in the bridge, they're literally saying it was you. It's you who I didn't want to look at your face. You're you're this and you're that. But still, the lyrics are saying it's all right. I'm gonna make it back to you. And stay together forever. Like there's a really weird sense of like realization, self-reflection, but then going back to what hurts you. And I want to go back. I, I want to have all of the positives of this relationship. I want to go back to that. But I was so closed off because I was afraid of telling you how I feel and that you are as big of, the re of a reason of this breakup, reason of this breakup as you made me out to be but it feels like they never really said anything because at the end of the day it's all right i'm gonna make it back to you it's like i don't know it feels like somebody's not really like realizing their their worth or something or if we want to take it you know put a a slightly more positive ending uh gonna make it back to you maybe get back to the person that i used to be even though that's not what the lyrics say but uh, it's a really interesting touch because literally the lyrics say you made me like this and pretended not to know and yet the happiness of the relationship still trumps all of the negatives or just living in 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 denial or looking for a reason to to get back together it's like you are the reason why i was at my highest but you are also the reason why i was at my lowest uh so to speak but just uh, again like they may not even be talking about the same relationships throughout this entire album but i feel like it, it just speaks to the fact that toxic relationships come in very in many shapes and forms and uh just because a relationship had like purity and happiness and joy in it it doesn't mean that it it doesn't have toxicity and uh, that it doesn't, you know, uh, eventually can turn out that way because one person becomes complacent and one person just becomes the punching bag and one person starts to feed off of the energy and pretends to not know anything, even though in reality they, they know exactly what kind of person you were before you met me or when you first met me and the kind of person I am right now because of how you've been treating me and I was unable to. Uh, speak out for myself this album is absolutely beautiful and i'm very grateful to have checked it out and just the the showcase of all of their vocals uh the contrast between the rapping and the singing and just the production in general is definitely a standout with this one and uh like again even with with a song like it's all right the happy-go-lucky vibe that it has musically again much like deny kind of throws you off because it's like you want to believe in something positive, but that's the denial, basically. That's the limbo. Uh, being trapped in the past of the good old days and wanting to get back into, there, into that place again, even though it's impossible. Uh, and songs like Crescendo is still my favorite song off of this album. I just love like all the different elements and how experimental it sounded, and how this entire album was, was like this really crazy ride that had so many uh, interesting elements that I, I did not expect, to be honest. And Crescendo, honestly, the different elements from like the, the traditional sounds that it had to the more modern sounds that it, that it had, to the guitar, to almost like this EDM-ish vibe, like all of these different elements. Uh, it's really crazy that they made it work. Not just made it work, but made it sound like its own fucking genre. It was absolutely uh, incredible. And it's probably one of, I want to say it's probably the best song by Monsta X that I've checked out. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will catch you all in the next one. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this album as well and uh, always happy to read uh you guys's comments and uh 
I really, really enjoyed this one. So uh, I hope you did too. And I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.